What's up, e-bikers? This is the Velotrick Nomad in uh, silver to 26 by 4 fat tire from uh, Velotrick. We'll check it out next on the channel. All right, so another 26 by four fat tire in the shop. These bikes are very ubiquitous uh, in the market, uh, at least 26 by four inch fat tires. And uh, Velotrick, this is the kind of the cousin of the Discover, which I just reviewed on the channel a few weeks back. Uh, so you can take a look at that. It's their commuter style e-bike. Uh, but this is their fat tire. This is their uh, off trail, uh, go anywhere type of uh, ride. And we're gonna take a look at it today. It's got a 750 watt motor back there. It's got a really nice looking design, I think. Velotrick does a great job with the design aspects of their bikes. Uh, just some little details that um, I, I'll show you in a second. But uh, it's a pretty nice package overall, so let's get into it. All right, so the Nomad comes in the step over frame, but you can also get it as a step through, uh, which is great for a shorter rider. So if you are a shorter rider between, uh, say, 5'1 to 6'4, get the step through. If you're a taller rider between 5.6 uh, to 6.9, you're going to want to get this uh, step over that they have here. Comes in uh, four different colors, mango, yellow, uh, the gray you see here, uh, sand, and forester green. It's on sale now for $13.99 uh, while uh, Black Friday is going on. Normally, I think it's $15.99 for this e-bike, so that's a pretty good deal uh, for the package you get. And we'll go over those specs in a second. Uh, we have a 14.4 amp hour battery down here in the down tube. Here's your key unlock. Here's your charge port. And so you can pop that off when you want to. Take it inside, charge it, or just charge it with on the bike. And these are made of uh, Tesla grade cells in there. So uh, they're doing a pretty good job with these cells that come with this e-bike. It's UL certified. Uh, so you have that peace of mind knowing that uh, you know it's not going to catch you on fire. I just saw another uh, e-bike fire in New York City. Last week, uh, a lot of those bikes are catching on fire are basically DIY uh, type of uh, projects people are, are doing and are there, are there cheaper, you know, just cheaper, less uh, uh, less quality e-bikes that they're getting from China. But uh, not with Vel Velotrick here. This is a quality e-bike uh, with quality parts that you're getting. So let's talk about the motor. 750 watt rear hub motor back here. Peaks at 1200 watts and has 75 newton meters of torque. Uh, sitting on those uh, CST big fat tires, 26 by 4. Again, a very ubiquitous tire uh, in the market. You'll notice the cutouts on this uh, rim here. So those cutouts save weight. That's why they're there. And uh, also get a nice cool look as well, I think, too. Little details on this bike. You see the uh, little Velotrek V here. You've got the little Velotrek... Um, Control box there, that's where the controller is located, painted there. Uh, very subtle branding here, I like that. Uh, lift tech here, I'm not sure what that means, LFT. Here's your, uh, even even your stem has um, some of the Velotrick branding there. So it's a really nice package overall in terms of design. Uh, the tires are puncture resistant, by the way, uh, according to Velotrick. Uh, you can see the front fork here. It's got a lockout and a preload back here lock it out the reason you would lock it out is if you're on a uh, you know riding on flat pavement that's smooth that give you a little more efficiency as far as the uh, uh, the range goes uh, or you can unlock it when you're on the trail at first glance it looks like the same frame as the discover but there are some subtle differences um, it's a wider frame down at the bottom by about an inch I didn't measure the discover versus this one and there's a wider uh, bottom part of the frame uh, this is the exact same width here and I think there's a different angle that you see on the uh, discover so it is uh, very similar but a little bit different overall light up front here headlight I'll show you uh, what that looks like at night and on the back it has a, just the 
USB powered, uh, basically warning light, if you will, um, that just turns on. It doesn't even, I don't think it even blinks. So uh, that's all you get for lighting on this, uh, on this Nomad. Here's a look at the Velotrek headlight at night. Fairly wide coverage. You get a kind of a beam in the middle there, but the uh, front fender is kind of getting in the way of the light. I think, uh, as you can see up there, there's a shadow. Okay, here's a look at the cockpit. You got some pretty nice uh, ergonomic grips on here, locking grips. You got a left side thumb throttle. You got a uh, power button here, plus and minus for your PAS levels. Very simple uh, control panel. Of course, your display. Uh, a bell and your paddle shifter here. Hydraulic brakes round out this uh, e-bike with mineral oil. You can see that there. Sitting on 180 millimeter rotors down here. And uh, what? pretty a basic but very nice display because it's really has really good backlighting. So you can see it pretty much in any uh, uh, sunlight angle. It's really bright today, and uh, you don't get much as far as data here goes. But uh, you got odometer. Uh, average speed, uh, max speed, and time, and calories burned. I'm not sure how they calculate that. And you have uh, wattage as well, if you want to see that while riding. It just tells you the type of voltage it is. It's 40. It doesn't give you the actual voltage readout. Um, and uh, back to the uh, trip monitor there. So that's basically about it. Just battery bars for the uh, battery level. There is a little uh, light down here. That blue pop up. Uh, blue, I think, is indicated it's uh, nearly a full charge, and uh, that indicates there on the battery as well. Here's a look at the seat. It's pretty. It's a pretty big seat as far as just coverage goes, and it's got little cups here on either side for your butt. Uh, not too bad so far. I like it. Um, it's pretty comfortable, and um, the ergonomics of this bike are really nice because you have that swept back handlebar design, uh, which just it lowers your uh, reach over. Uh, space there and uh, makes it a much more comfortable ride so let's get you a little fly over here the fenders on this bike are extra long I think um, they give you pretty good coverage both on the back there down there down on the front side and they're kind of flared at the side there which is nice to see uh, the one negative is that when the light is on at night, the uh, fender here actually blocks a little bit of the light. You see a, a shadow on the road from the fender itself. So I'll show you some video of that as well. But overall, just a really nice package. Uh, great looking e-bike. I love the color choices you can get on these. And um, uh, it's too many too many bikes that there are just black or gray with kind of no personality. And I think uh, Velotrick uh, does a good job at. Uh, giving you a bike uh, that has a little bit of personality and uh, a design and um, you know good looks so uh, I give him credit for that also I have a coupon code for this e-bike in my the description of this video so check that out if you want to save a few bucks more off of the sale price uh, so that's a nice touch that they gave me I am an affiliate of Velotrix so if you do make a purchase I do earn a little bit of commission here but I'm an affiliate of many e-bike companies out there so I don't really care which one you buy my job is to show you what's out there uh, put them through their paces and uh, let you decide in terms of which one you want to buy. Uh, so that's kind of how I do things. I don't get paid for these. I, 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 do, I do them for information, for my own fun, and to help you guys make a decision in terms of uh, what's out there and how well these bikes ride uh, on the road. So uh, keep that in mind and let's get into uh, some of the road testing now. All right, a couple points of clarification before we go on the ride. The bike weighs 73 pounds according to the uh, website. I had to go back and check. And the uh, cassette back there is a 8 speed cassette, 13 to 34 tooth uh, on that uh, real wheel there. And uh, yeah, let's get out on the road and uh, see how she does. Very easy on this bike, and no issues there. And yeah, nice little torque here off the line. <laughs>
Um, nice pickup there, crossing the street. Seattle St. Corners. Feels like it has a pretty good low center of gravity. Thanks to that battery in the down tube down there. Good control going around the corners. I love these handlebars, how they're swept back like that. This gives you a lot more control, I think. level testing and count that out for you see how it does we'll do a top speed run after that so we'll put it in pedal assist one start pedal here we go by the way you can't unlock the bike uh, as I mentioned if you email pedal trick and I'll send you the instructions for doing it so PS1 unlocked I'm getting 12 12 miles an hour PS2 that's going up to 14. That's a good cadence there. I like that. PS3, we're going to do 17 miles an hour. Not bad. PS4. Got a headwind coming. Uh, close to 20 miles an hour. And PS5. Here we go. This will be the top speed run. We're already at 24. That power comes on quick. Good turn here. 25.4. See if I can get to 26. There's 26. Uh, not struggling too much. I definitely am pedaling hard, but uh, that was a pretty easy run to 26 right there. Uh, so really good power once you, you do unlock this thing. It comes as a class two, but uh, any bike that's 26 by four and 73 pounds uh, needs to go, you know, mid 20s minimum, uh, in my opinion. Otherwise, it's just too slow for a bike that heavy. Okay, time for the hill test. We're gonna do uh, throttle only up the first part, and then we'll pedal up the second part, which is steeper. So this hill kind of has two levels. Good pickup off the line. See the uh, speed climbing. It always climbs in this first part usually. We have 14 miles an hour here. Picking up speed, 15, and there's 16. 16.5 and 7. Oh, we got 17, all right. That's good. 17, 18 miles an hour. Wow. Didn't expect that. This has really good hill climb. I'm going to switch over to pedaling in a second here. I'm about to get steeper. I almost hit 19 there. Wow. All right, so. I think I'm in uh, fourth gear. Doing 14. 13, 12, wow, that's really good, 12.2 uh, was the lowest, that's probably the one, that might be the best hill climb I've had on a 750 watt, that was really nice, uh, super, super powerful going up that hill, awesome, kind of like, alright, here we go on the downhill run, Let's see how uh, speedy this bike can get with no pedaling, going downhill coasting and we'll test the brakes at the end to see how well these hydraulics stop the bike at like 30 miles an hour so here we go I'll count up the speed once if I can 24 25 28 29 there's 30 already 31 32 33 34 34 again. Hit that brake. Nice controlled stop. That was pretty sweet, guys. That was the fastest I think I've hit uh, on that downhill, I believe. I might have hit 34 on one other bike. 
but uh, that was a pretty good run there for this Velotrek Nomad. Pretty impressed. And this thing is solid, man. There's no squeaks, there's no rattles. Uh, it's a really good quality bike. For, especially for 1400 bucks. I mean, wow, you can't beat that. This bike rips, guys. Once I turn that power on, man, it just goes. And uh, it's continually surprising me with the power levels that you can get out of it. Uh, let's go over the pros and cons as we wrap this up. So, uh, pros, the quality parts on this bike. You got the hydraulic brakes, you got the cutout rims, uh, overall design quality. Uh, you get the longer fenders for better coverage there. Good ergonomics. There's the, that handlebar, swept back handlebar design. It's very comfortable on a bike like this. Even the seat, I think, is pretty good. Um, and just the overall package you get and uh, the price point uh, 1400 bucks on sale plus my discount code you can get I mean this is a pretty good bike one question I have is the battery uh, so that's one of the cons uh, normally these bikes come with you know at least 15 18 20 amp hour batteries but uh, we'll put that to the test and see how we do on the, uh, the range test uh, no rack and no tail lights um, I thought they could have added a tail light pretty easily uh, to a bike like this, but other than that, it's uh, those are some of the cons that uh, you can look at. Yeah, so compared to other 26 by fours, you know, I'd say this has the one of the better design aspects from all the previous bike 26 by fours I've done uh, in this price range. Uh, so uh, you know, consider that and uh, make a decision. But uh, I do love the power aspect of the thing. That's my favorite thing about this bike is that power. And so glad I unlocked it and asked the uh, Velotrek how to do that. So, anyway, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. More e bike reviews coming soon. It's been a busy November, and I got more e bikes to come. So, uh, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.